easy, uh, very easy to disable Google Fonts in Elementor. So you go to the back end of the website and uh, go to settings. Okay. Okay. Now then go to advanced options over here. Google Fonts. Now you switch that to disable from the drop down then save changes okay okay great so uh, okay now let's check the front end of the website now I reload this and you see that the fonts have changed it it just uh, changed to the default fonts like I guess Arial or something so it switch to the default fonts over here okay but the issue over here now is that it doesn't look nice before it used to look nice so i'm going to also show you like how you can like upload the google for download and upload the google fonts and host them like locally in elementor and use it as a custom font then there will be no issues about disclosing the ids of ip addresses of your visitors okay so i'm i was using the poppins font over here poppins so this is the poppins font and what i'm going to do i'm going to download this font okay download this font over here poppins okay now let's just there is a zip file of poppins what i'm going to do now is extract here so extracted poppins okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to use just two styles over here this 300 light one font weight 300 light okay and the other style which i'm going to use is the bold okay so two styles which i'm going to use right now so two <coughs> so uh, i've got a folder over here so poppins uh, over here light where is the light pop in slide over here you see pop in slide so let's just upload this so in the back end you see over here under elementary you see this custom fonts option click over here and then uh, what are you what are you going to do now is click over here add new and let's just name our custom font Poppins light okay then add font variation check so so what uh, the f the file is uh, ends with ttf dot ttf what so what you're going to do now is you see ttf file upload over here click upload and then just simply drag and drop it into the media folder okay great so publish this so now your pop-in slide uh, version is uh, uploaded into the elementary website as Google for uh, I'm going to is upload is the poppins bold okay poppins here is the poppins bold okay so just now let's upload this one poppins bold then add font variation go to this ttf because our format is in ttf poppins bold okay great select ttf file now click on publish over here see okay okay so now what i'm going to do now is uh, go to the front page and click on edit page over here So I'm just going to show you like for these three parts okay I will need to edit this with edit with Elementor
okay it's loaded almost okay so google font is here I'm just uh, you see it's set to default fonts and now over here you won't get the google fonts option but over here you see that under custom fonts i get the custom fonts which i've downloaded uh, uploaded so i'm going to set this as poppins bold you see and for over oh sorry i moved this accidentally okay okay over here i am going to change this to uh, pop in light see and i am going to change this to pop in bold or another thing we could do is like uh, if you want to change it throughout the entire page okay so one thing we could do is like oh, okay let's just update this okay so we can just uh, go to site settings over here and typography okay body font is family we are just going to sh uh, pop in slight see everything now switch to pop in slight okay and for the heading for for example heading 2 we are going to change this to pop in bold see it changes all the fonts changes changed okay well let's also change this to pop in bold sorry h3 h3 default pop in bold see it's so easy great so this is how like uh, how easily you can uh, this is how easily you can uh, disable Google Fonts on your website and upload the de your desired Google Fonts locally in Elementor so that you do not get fined plus it will also improve your site speed because uh, all the fonts do not need to be loaded from the Google server. So that was the part. So that was I hope this video helped you out and if it did then uh, please make sure to like this video, video and also please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this. Have a great day.